everyone welcome back for more exo zeros content in today's video we're going to discuss the ranking of all synergy heroes but before that if you want updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below hey guys before we start with our ranking so we'll have to discuss this first this is going to be a choice fate core happening tomorrow so it's for the synergy banner so you have here synergy one which is janai um monica and wilkes and you have synergy two april leafy and nika so only uh what do you call this only eden is not here so this will drop tomorrow that is why we're having a ranking event today so basically you only have six choices and who are you going to choose will depend on you and i will help you along the way based on our rank system okay so um i'll not dive into this but gold fate core will have a 0.5 percent chance which is only april and Janai and the black fate cores are the rest so 0.7 percent so we're here now with the ranking for our idol or synergy uh heroes so to start off with this ranking i will actually start with number seven number seven is actually nika okay so nika is actually number seven on our list because of her lack of additional abilities so i'll i'll go through her passive first so little star is actually um a standard for synergy too so special at the beginning of the round reduces received damage by 10 percent for each living ally except the caster so reduces up to 40 percent so this standard among nika and uh, and uh, what they call this and uh, leafy and also she has her thrust too as well no significant change however in her s1 which is sound bomb and also her s2 which is gatling music okay i'll just run through what it does and how it's really important so for her s2 it deals 225 percent damage to all enemies and for her s1 it's actually a 187 percent damage to one enemy afflict shock for four turns so i would say <coughs> shock is actually better if it's in a aoe skill i wish they should have reversed this one um she doesn't bring much to the table she was actually the first to be to be to be given out uh when synergy 2 came out but she actually remains at the seventh of our list so for our sixth actually i i got lucky <laughs> Uh, with Liffy, I actually, you know, um, pulled a couple of Black uh, Fate Core uh, tickets, and actually, I have two Liffys by by accident. So I didn't pull for her banner, uh, but we'll have to discuss her why she's better than Nika. So again, she has little star, same as Nika. This is a standard passive for all synergy too, uh, th all three of them. Um, but for her, for her S one. It's a it deals 63% damage to all enemies and it's a damage over time spell. This is what I mean, which is actually better DOT for an AOE, you know, AOE uh, damage, um, except for First Guardians, of course. Um, but this is actually better than Nika's um, ability for S1. And for S2, for a 367% piercing damage to one enemy. So this is why Leafy is actually better than Nika because of her S2 being a single target, but it's a piercing damage skill. So that is our number six for this ranking. And for our number five would be Wilkes. So starting with the Synergy 1, so um, Wilkes is passive. So it's kind of different. She has Mana Absorb as her standard passive, but she has actually Superstar, so a flex target with attention mark for 7 turns when the skill hits, 
Increases all damage over time on the target he hero with attention by 100%. So this is a buff to damage over time damage. Okay, and fan club afflicts target with anti-fan mark when attacked. Um, triggers double team for all living allies if the health of the enemy with anti-fan is 30% or lower once every 7 turns. So this one is actually a good because, because it gives you free attack for a fan club and anti-fan mark. Um, again, this is actually a staple. Superstar and fan club is a staple for Synergy 1, which includes Wilkes, Monica, and Janai. So let's take a look at her, her S1. So increases attack of all allies by 20% of own uh, for 7 turns. Good. Two, two mana, not that much, um, just a 20% increase, uh, but it's a two mana skill, which is kind of good. And for her S2, so deals 25% damage to all enemies. Again, it's a corrode spell dealing 15% damage every turn for two turns. It's a it's actually a zero mana cost spell for her S2. That is why she is actually ranked now at fifth with uh, with Leafy and, uh, and Nika behind her. So let's go to our fourth. So our fourth would be Monica. Okay, why is she fourth? Why is she better than Wilkes? So basically, again, the same passive um, as Wilkes except for Focus Fire. So afflicts targets with the Focus Fire mark and decreases dodge for one round on basic attack, gains mana when marked when a mark target dies okay so for her s1 deals 187 percent damage to one enemy afflicts target with frostbite dealing 82 percent percent damage every turn it's a good two two mana skill and what is actually making her better than wilkes is her s2 which deals 525 percent piercing damage to one enemy so this is why she's better than wilkes um, I'd ra I actually I'd, I'd bring her versus Wilkes um, in any team composition, especially if I bring her with with the uh, with Janai. So this is actually uh, she is actually ranked your fourth in this ranking. For your third, I'm afraid that Eden won't you know won't be available tomorrow in tomorrow's um, banner for Fate Core Choice Re. But actually, he is ranked third mostly because of his classification as a blue fate core. So if he is a blue fate core, um, so grants buff to heroes from Greenland. So if you are a Greenland fan or your team composition is of Greenland, actually, you must get this guy. So Eden, he's a guy, by the way. If you don't know if he's a guy or a girl, he's a guy. So he is actually some, is a must get. He gives your your nation buffs, combat power, attack, HP, and defense. The more copies you have of him, the more you fusion copies of him, the buffs actually get bigger. So that is good about Eden. And for for his skills, he's actually kind of decent. Same passive as as um, Synergy One heroes. Um, for his S1, it's already a pierce damage, 525 skill, mana 4 for his S1. So good already. Then for his S2, deals 51% damage to all enemies. It's a poison targets, deals 31% damage for every two turns. So again, very good S1 and S2. So almost a utility. It's just 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 bad against against first guardian. So Basically, you 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 Eden is here because he's a blue fate core in which he gives buffs to Greenland heroes of that nation. Okay, so we're down to our top two. Obviously, the you no know, rank two would be April. Um, April is ranked two because she is mostly dependent on. Uh, on um, Rachel's action, Rachel's uh, synergy with her because some of her skills are activated by Rachel. So let's go through her passive first. So she has first aid two, 
grants heal 100% of attack to, to an ally if they take damage and their health falls to 20% or less. Uh, gains mana if own health is at 20% or less when triggered. First passive. Sound Fever increases attack speed of all back row allies by 5. Um, not that big of an increase, but I'll take it anyway. Enemies are disheartened at the start of every turn. Resets upon moving to the next wave. Okay, again, Disheartened is a unique passive by Rachel. So this is actually, again, a, one of the qualifiers that you need to have Rachel with her to fully maximize her. Okay, her next passive is Encore Stage, so heals 100% of health to all allies upon dying. So when she dies, she heals all of your allies by 100%. So that's actually her passive. Her third fa passive is fan service overtime effect. Disheartened front row enemies receive 40% increased damage and all damage against the targets that are applied as piercing damage. Okay. Why is she good? Because also of this passive. Because this passive um, is really for the stall meta in which you have a front row of Tantalo. You have Talia there and you have Iris. So it would be easier to kill them once this is actually in play. And also for her last passive, again, it's little stars. So it's the same as the other Synergy 2 heroes. So at the beginning of each round, reduces receive damage by 10% for each living ally, except the caster reduces up to 40%. So April is actually good. Um, she just needs Rachel with her. So... They have to be disheartened, the front row for fan service and sound um, sound fever also needs to have a disheartened um, to be activated. Okay. For her S1, it's a four mana skill. So it's music wave. So it deals 127% damage to all enemies. The best about this skill is that it has silence for six turns and it's an AOE skill. As long as they're disheartened, again, you have to make sure that your Rachel is actually leveled up. You have multiple copies of Rachel so that you can apply disheartened. Rachel should have the highest attack of the enemies on the other side for disheartened to trigger. So that is why, again, before you summon for April over the other characters, make sure that you have your, your what do you call this, your Rachel already built up and actually in the mid tier already in terms of build so that you could you could um, you fully utilize rachel in this sense and her s2 is heals all allies by 90 percent of own, own maximum health cleanses all debuffs and damage over time effects on all allies and heals an additional 10 percent for each mana on the target so massive heals all around two heals and a cleanse so that is basically what you're getting for her S2. Probably one of, one of the best heal spells in the game. You don't need Rachel for this one. So if I may rate her uh, 1 to 5, she's kind of 3.5 in terms of overall utility without Rachel. Um, you can still bring her, but again, you would maximize her further if you have Rachel on your team. Okay, so she's rank 2. And now for our rank 1 we have mistress janai so our supreme queen janai is a rank one um rank one uh, hero for synergy number one because if we run through her passive she does not really depend on other heroes for her to pull off her you know her her passive let's start with uh she has mana absorb four okay but we'll start with her other passive so Unleash potential effects, she deals damage, 100, 1,000 piercing damage when, at, when attacking the enemy. So that is actually her added unleash potential effect. She has flow mana, so back row allies permanently gain 1 mana. She has charm, afflicts enemies with lower attack than self with the charm mark and decreases their attack speed by 30. This is actually very crucial, that is why tomorrow... I'm going to go for Janai. I'm going to go for copies of Janai. I already have Janai on my team at Fusion 2. Um, I like her mechanic. It's just that 
she really has to be you know she really has to shine in terms of her attacks or her attack stat because she pairs well with shell and shell plays off her charm so again basically she, um, she's like the equivalent of rachel to april so she needs to shine the most for the other heroes um within her you know within her banner to shine so shell will not really shine if charm uh for Janai is that low and she cannot give her charm um to the enemies on the other side with lower attack than her so basically higher highest attack stat for um Janai. she has to have that also she has superstar so a flex target with attention mark for seven turns again uh, increase all damage over time hero so buff for damage over time or dot damage and fan is actually just extra attacks um anti-fan mark uh and double team triggers double team for all living allies if health of enemy with anti-fan mark is 30 percent or lower this is actually nice because it gives you a lot even if it's a basic attack it gives you a lot of extra damage during a you know the, during a they all have to deal attacks all five of them if, if they're alive in your team so they deal basic damage to your opponents let's go to her s1 so her s1 is deals 51 percent damage to all enemies overtime effect poisons targets thir deals 31 percent damage every turn for two turns so on each potential effect special afflicts the target with bind for two turns when the attack hits so can't be removed so this is actually good for her she has bind um i think this was this is actually highlighted because my Janai actually is fully unleashed potential for her attack stamina and for for defense tree that is why it's here in her stat um if you if you can see um april did not uh reflect any unleashed potential stat but she has so anyway this is actually good because it actually once you have niche potential she gives bind to your enemies for an aoe spell and this is actually one of her best spells so deals 170 28 percent damage to all enemies it's called last encore uh required mana is five so poison's target deals 62 percent damage for every turn for four turns so be careful again when you're using her because she gives damage over time or over time effect damages or dot damage so that is she's actually very valuable um when it comes to her passive alone so again the the, the challenging thing for janai is to increase her attack stat versus your enemies on the other side so i'm going for her tomorrow i definitely need her i was actually thinking of going for april since i only have one copy of april but again i don't want to sp you know to spread my 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 resources too thin my priority is actually currently wasted red second would be both both uh, both um stories and uh, north Moon frosty I already have a good uh, Janai and a good um, good shell. They just need copies for fusion and also for their signature force. I forgot. I need I need Janai as well for for you know to level up her signature force for her stories as well. So anyway, guys, um, that is how it is. So that those are the ranked or my rankings for uh, synergy or idol so again this is just my opinion if you guys have any thoughts or comments please put them in the comment section below so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do most of you or 85 percent of those who watch my videos have not subscribed yet and please do support my channel again all stay safe this is the warden and i'm out